Okay, how did I make the lightsaber? Well, it was pretty easy, actually, so the humble brag, but all I used was this stick, which I found in our garage and I claimed as my own because I just needed it. So I'm going to show you how to make your own lightsaber that will not cut your arm off and you won't have to spend like $200 to get one that glows on its own. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to open DaVinci Resolve because I use DaVinci Resolve to make, I don't know why I still have a stick. I use DaVinci Resolve to make this, so that's what I'm going to show you how to make it on. So here we go. Here is what I created. And now we are going to make a whole nother one for an example. So uh, let's go ahead and delete this. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your clip that you wanna use, go ahead and drag and drop it into your media pool. And uh, let's go ahead and put that on the timeline. Okay, here's the clip we're gonna use to uh, make this video. Just me looking dumb, being dumb with a stick. All right, so it doesn't really matter where we're gonna, where we can cut this, so we'll just go right here. So click on your clip and the scissors right over here. Hit that, and whatever is red is the one that's selected. So go ahead and just delete the red clip, and that'll leave you with the part that you want. So here's our clip right now. Oh yeah, Jedi movement, look at that. That's just amazing. Okay, yep, there's my acting, that was amazing. Oh man, I look dumb. <laughs> Okay, we're going to leave that in there. And go ahead and cut it again. Now pick the right side this time because this is going to be the end of the clip. And we're left with our final clip. So go ahead and go to... Why is this not in full screen? There we go. Much better. For this effect, we're going to go to Fusion. Fusion is kind of where you can make all these like special effects. This is the part where you have to have a brain. In case you didn't know that. First thing we're gonna do, just go ahead and move this little red line to the front of your clip. That way we know we're on the very beginning of your clip. It'll just be easier if you start at the beginning. So all of these right here are nodes, and they are what makes your effects possible. If it's like a building, the nodes are the blocks that builds your building. So we're gonna take this node right here, which is a background node. We're gonna leave, we're just gonna drag it and drop it in. Next, we're going to take this node, which is a polygon node. It's like a mask. Take it, drop it in. And then we're gonna hit shift and spacebar, and that brings up a whole nother thing full of nodes. And we're gonna type in soft glow, which will give the color and the glow effect to our lightsaber. And now we have all these on here, but we can't just take them and drag them and drop them straight onto the line. We have to have a merge node. So we take our merge node, drag it, and go ahead and drop it straight onto the line, and it will automatically connect. And if it doesn't automatically connect, and you're just kind of left with a line like that, and you can't get it back on, uh, hit hold down shift bar over the line, and then you can redo it. Now you have your background, polygon, and soft glow and you want them in this order this order so you're going to connect your soft glow to the merge you're going to connect your background to the soft glow and you're going to connect your polygon to the background now nothing happened i know it's not supposed to happen yet because the polygon is what creates the shape and we haven't created a shape yet so nothing can happen yet so go ahead and click on your polygon and go ahead and click five points where you want your saber to be. Three points at the top, two points at the bottom. Once you've completed that, you're going to see a black outline. And that is the background coming through. And it might even have a little glow to it because of the soft glow. But we're not going to mess with soft glow yet. We're going to go to our background. So come click on the background. And we're going to turn all these colors up and that'll create white. So you're probably thinking, well the background should make the color, should it not, since the background makes all these different colors? No, it should not. The background needs to be white and 
the soft glow will create the color. So we're going to do that now. So you're going to click soft glow. You're going to come over here to color scale. You're going to pick what color you want. Uh, for me, I'm going to turn up the green a little bit. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, just so we can see it, go to glow size and just turn it up a little ways. That way you can see what color you want. I want it to be green because I'm feeling like a good guy. Go to your glow size and turn it back down and turn your gain down just a little bit. All right, now go back to your polygon and you're going to go to soft edge and you're going to soften this guy up a lot. About right before it starts taking off huge, that's when you want it. So right about there, two, six, eight, if you want to be exactly what I have. We can leave all this and all this and now go ahead and zoom in. So go ahead and click on your polygon again and go ahead and line it up to your stick to see if our settings look good. Okay, now, okay, we're gonna have to redo some settings. All right, once you've re-messed with your settings to uh, make it actually look good, go back to your polygon and adjust your mask. Once you have your lightsaber all lined up to the place that you want, or wherever your clip is, next we're going to go to the next frame. So, now we gotta create a keyframe. So to do that, to create a keyframe, just go to the next frame and move it to your stick. And that will create a keyframe automatically. It's actually kinda of cool that it does that. It's quite easy, it just animates whatever you've done to the next keyframe. Keyframe basically locks in whatever you've animated to a certain frame. So when we go to the next frame, it'll there'll be a little white bar. That means we've had a keyframe and it's locked in your animation. So now we just repeat the process over and 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 over again. That's why when you're doing this, I recommend never shooting above 24 frames per second because that's a lot of seconds. Um, so now we gotta move this again. This is gonna take a while. While I'm doing this, I'll give you a little information that you might like. This is Jerry. He's a squirrel. He's my little editing buddy. So, uh, Here's a picture of Jerry when uh, he was a DJ at a party. It was pretty cool. Had some Capital Kings rocking. Woo! He was good. He was good. So if you'd spam the comments with "Hi ho, Jerry," that'd be great. Now, do you have to go frame by frame? No, you you don't have to. Uh, I am, cause. It just looks better if you go frame by frame because it's exact, but you can skip a couple frames and it will just move to the next keyframe. So here, uh, if I start on this keyframe, and see I'm my hands are just pushing forward, like that, I can just move this all the way to that next frame, and if we watch it back, it will just move to that next frame. No, it won't be perfect, so we'll have to make a couple adjustments here and there, but it is way more uh, efficient. Okay, once you have gone frame by frame and realized how long it's gonna take and kind of shortened your clip way up so you didn't have to do as much like I did, uh, this is what it should look like. There you go, just like that. Because the polygon, your mask, is going frame by frame or skipping a few frames. And that is how you make a lightsaber. You can do this with anything. You, you don't have to use a pole to make a lightsaber video. Like I did, I used a stick and then I followed it. You can use like a, like a toilet paper roll 
you would just have to think about where a stick would be. I use the stick because it's easy to see exactly where to line everything up because if I didn't have that stick there maybe I might be off a little bit. But anyway that is how you make lightsaber video and you can go uh, back to your edit page and add sound effects and do some sound design to even make it m more realistic like I did in uh, this one I added some sound effects and it sounded like this kind of gave that uh, sa that that I don't even know how to describe it just lightsaber sound that energy sound uh, and I got the sound effects on Mixkit. It's part of Envato Elements, which is a paid-for subscription-based uh, sound effects, templates, music, that kind of stuff. But Mixkit is the free version and it has some free music and free sound effects, templates, that kind of stuff. So I use that. I used that to make the sound effects in this video. Sound design definitely helps your video because here, listen to these two clips. There's a little bit of a difference. One's way more realistic because it has that that buzz to it has that vibration that you you automatically think uh, Jedi lightsaber noise when you hear that hum that that noise and it just it just helps your video a lot if you give if you take time to sound design at least a little bit even if it's just the buzzes and stuff so take time to sound design your video it'll come out way better uh, if you're wanting to put in that much effort and it won't look like this oh so cool so cool <laughs> I, I don't know what to say thank you for watching this video if you liked it like it yeah. and hopefully you learned something I'm not the best at teaching but I thought hey I can make this I know how to do it so uh, yeah see you in the next video You can go now. You don't have to stay. The video is over. You want to see another video? YouTube thinks you're going to like this one. That's what I would go with. This is the video right here. Okay, bye.